Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> so, it is the end of the week for most people. And I thought I'd get on here and just give some words of encouragement. It's been a minute since I've been on here uh, in this capacity. So, um, yeah, I just felt it in my spirit that some people, it is not a happy Friday for them today. Some people are going through the loss of a loved one. Some people are going through financial hardships. There are also some people who are going through struggles with their health, both physically and mentally. And I would like to even add that there are some people that are going through spiritual warfare on this Friday. Um, where I am at, it is sunny and bright. And it may be sunny and bright for those who are going through but they don't see it, nor do they feel it. And so I just came on here this morning just to remind you that darkness is but a result of the light of the day. And so when you feel like your world is dark, trust and believe that darkness cannot remain because lightness must always break through. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. I promise you that the light will shine again in your heart, in your mind, and in your spirit. Don't let what you're going through today determine what your tomorrows are going to be. Hold on, stay steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Just call out to him. You don't need to tell anybody your business but him. And don't be ashamed. And there is nothing that you have done that will keep him from loving you. If you're sincere in your heart and you acknowledge him as your Lord and your Savior, I guarantee he's going to come to your rescue. He's going to change that situation. It may not happen overnight, but you will recognize that the change will come. And when it do come, I want you not to forget that you ask for him to remove the burden, the pain, the loss, that void, and give him the praise that he so rightly deserve. I love you with the love of God and have a blessed Friday. Did she cool on? Oh. I don't think she did. All right. Yeah. Bowl and the other I 
I keep covering your thing because I keep saying it's bugs flying around. So unless you want something in your uh, food, you don't want to put that away. It's no purpose of eating salad and you're going to put all that dressing on there. That's just too much. That ain't even healthy. When you do it my way, you do your way. You want to show the people your salad? No. <laughs> okay. Y'all. <laughs> I'm finally home. Thank God. I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> Some of y'all may already know, if you've seen some of my videos that I uploaded already. The fam went on a week vacation to Disney World and Universal Studios. We walked our feet off. I did more walking in one day. Doing two parks. Practically almost every day. Except for Universal Studio. Than I did, than I do in a whole week <laughs> doing to, uh, my calculations. So, Sunday was my only day to rest, but my fam was still here. And the next day I went to work. So, when I say I'm so happy to be off this weekend, I'm not on call this weekend, I have nothing but plans to get up early in the morning and clean up my house, straighten up, wash clothes, fold clothes, and then for the remaining of the time that I'm home, I'm not going out the door. So I went to go see my sister because I bought her some things from um, Hollywood Studios when we went to uh, Harry Potter. Me and my sister are big Harry Potter fans. So I treated to her to a couple of things from um, the stores there. And so I said, let me go ahead and run this over to her today. Because at first I was just like, I don't know if I'm going to go today or tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow. But now I have got that out the way. And on the way coming home, I'm just like, I'm craving for a salad. So I'm about to eat this Chick-fil-A salad. Hubby's tired. I'm tired. I got him and me both a Southwest chicken salad. I don't know what on earth is going on, but I'm seeing so many flaws in here. I may do a clean with me video, but I still have videos. Y'all saw that fly just go past the camera. That's a big old fly, buddy. If he comes by, you please kill him. And, and, and left the door open or something because it's a, a bunch of flies. And uh, I see uh, I saw a moth in here too. And I was going back and forth bringing the groceries in, but I was closing the door. So I know they didn't come in after me. So anyway... I'm going to show y'all real quick. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video because, like I said, I still have some footage from the park to, to put up and get that all situated. So, but then I have a call. that I need to do. Um, I have a haul that I need to do for what we bought from Disney World. Some things that I got for myself from for Harry Potter and a couple of Star Wars items and things like that. So, yeah, so that one will probably go up before this haul. And then I'll have a sit down and talk to you guys about if you've never been to Disney World, like me, it was our very first time going, what to expect, 
the pros and the cons, expenses, yada, 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 okay? So, because I really didn't go into all that in my videos because it was a lot to walk and talk all at the same time and keep an eye on the kids and make sure you social distancing and all that. So, I did what I could to just put some video footage up, but like I said, um, I took a lot of pictures more so because I wanted to have that for memory. So, without further ado, because more, the longer I prolong this, the longer your girl can take off these shoes and sit down and relax. So, I went to Aldi's. I like to go to Aldi's. Um, I'm going to tell you, my favorite source to shop to get food is Publix. If you have a Publix, you know what I'm talking about. Publix has the best fruit. I would say Aldi's and Publix are neck and neck when it comes to their fruit. But the other store, I say Publix is more expensive with their fruit, but their fruit is delicious. But Aldi's has more affordable fruit, and their fruit is still good. Um, and the third store that I like to go shopping at is, um, Whole Foods, but we don't have a Whole Foods close by us. So my two favorite is Publix and, um, Aldi's. And when I have to get a bunch of things outside of food, that's the only time that I really would like, I go to Walmart, but truth be told, not the person in Walmart. <laughs> I used to love y'all a long, long time ago. Uh, it's too many people in there. It's too many people and it's overpriced. Okay, so. First thing I got, because I'm back on my ear, <laughs> okay? Getting myself right, getting my life together. It's nothing wrong with taking a break from it. I wouldn't even say that I backslid, okay? I would say that I subconsciously decided that I wanted to take a break and I wanted to eat what I wanted to eat. And I think that it's better to just eat what you want to eat rather than deny yourself, complain, long for it. So I did that for a little bit, but I'm not like I used to be where I have to have certain things. So I am improving in that area. And I believe that there will be a day when I will start saying, you know what? I don't even need the days of when I need to regress from the foods that I know I should be eating because I don't even long for them anymore. Okay. So, and of course I wasn't doing any type of special eating on our trip. <laughs> Period. <laughs> so, this right here, y'all, I'm, I'm swaying like I had something to drink. I had nothing to drink. Okay, so this is blackberries. I bought some blackberries, some fresh raspberries. I was going to get some blueberries, but the blueberries were too expensive. I don't know what was going on with that. Some strawberries, and then we also have our frozen fruit as well in the fridge. Um, I'm going to get this out of the way because this needs to go in the freezer. Uh, some ice cream sandwiches and these I love. The fruit bars. Uh, I love the strawberry kind and the mango. Uh, let me tell y'all about this real quick. Speaking of Disney. So like I said, I love these. So they have like ice cream Vending little carts and stuff out there. Let me tell y'all how much I paid for one of these fruit bars. And it wasn't even a Dole's fruit bar. At least I don't think it was. Um, and those are the best ones. Well, Outshine is, is it's good. Uh, it's no GMO ingredients in it, but it's not as good as Dole's. Well, anyway, I paid $5.75 for one popsicle. I must have really been hot, right? So yeah, but that's what I wanted to say. Okay, and then I bought the Bavarian soft pretzels here. Oh, that fly's gonna drive me nuts. I hope my bedroom door is closed because 
I'm gonna have a fit if I had a fly in my room. Uh, cheese stuffed breadsticks with cheese and garlic. Uh, got some hickory smoked turkey breast and white turkey. This is for Avery. I, yesterday I bought from the deli some pastrami and some turkey from Walmart. Um, but Avery and the rest of the crew, they can eat this. <laughs> Did I say crab? Ragu? Dip? I got this to go with some crackers. I'll show you crackers in a minute. I got some grilled chicken breast shrimps. My husband likes to put this up in his salad. So that's good for him. I bought me some asparagus because my last batch, I took so long to eat it and then I was away and it went bad. Um, Gordy, can you put this in the um, freezer? This ice cream. Okay, y'all, I'm coming. All right, so oh, I forgot I had a box right behind me. Excuse the kitchen, y'all. I had to get some more of the uh, organic uh, romaine hearts. Three of them in the pack. Sardines and oil. I love sardines with some onions and season it up and mm, put it on crackers. Delicious. My cashew nuts. I was looking for the honey roasted cashew nuts. Those are my favorite, but they did not have them, so that had to do. Y'all, I gotta come up from the bottom of this. Hang on. All right. And I gotta come out of these shoes. Being great in language means being great. Say, All right, come out of my shoes here. And my feet have been swelling a lot lately um, since the trip. Um, so I've been taking for a couple of days some water pills to make sure I'm not um, having just fluid. Probably from was I, when I was eating different things in Florida, my, I wasn't watching my salt intake. I'm pretty sure that that's the reason. Okay, some baby Bella mushrooms. Y'all already know. Uh, some tuna fish. And I'm not sure if my husband has it or not, but I know he loves tuna fish. Uh, some crunchy uh, taco shells here. I brought some ground turkey to make some tacos. Banana chips. I love these uh, banana chips here. Uh, zero milligrams with salt. Nine grams of sugar. Eight grams of saturated fat. 150 calories. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be munching on those instead of Lay's potato chips because I'm trying to cut back. They did not have my country crop plant-based butter that I get there. They don't sell that brand. Um, but I got me some countryside creamery sweet cream butter. Um, and I thought I grabbed unsalted, but unsalted. Uh, a can of refried beans to put in my tacos. Uh, this I love. Uh, it was $4 for the vanilla latte um, cold press drink. And so I got that ice espresso. Of course, every household got to have Fabuloso. I don't even think that's a black thing. I think that's just the people who are addicted to the scent. <laughs> they just got to get it. I was looking for the red one. I didn't see it. So I got that purple one. Uh, this is... Sort of like the equivalents of Dawn. It's antibacterial uh, dish liquid, the green apple scent. I got me some Dijon mustard. I love that and spicy mustard. I don't like French. Uh, strawberry kiwi drink, which is good. That brand's pretty good. Uh, some orange juice, no pulp, of course. And some guava mango drink, which that's good. 
And then I bought two of these 100% apple juice here. Because uh, Avery will be here on Monday. Seemed like he just left <laughs> with being with us all week. But yeah, so he'll be back on Monday. All right. So here's the other apple juice that I mentioned. Okay, so then... I don't know if it was because I was hungry or what, but I got some chocolate chip cookies to put in here. And uh, these are like $3 and $4 in Walmart. These are, um, they're not chip or horn, but they taste just as good. They look like a dollar and some change. So chip, chocolate chip cookies and these, y'all, I love these. Caramel coconut fudge cookies. I love these. Whenever I see uh, the Girl Scouts, um, selling cookies. This is on the radar. The caramel um, coconut. So I got two packs of that. Because one pack, as y'all know, going upstairs. They ain't even going to see it. Uh, Gordy, look what I got for a dollar. Kick it in the ginger shot. So I got two ginger shots here for us. It's made with a blend of coconut water. Pineapple juice, ginger juice, lemon juice, and ground cayenne. So I bought one for you and one for me. We see what they taste like. I'm probably gonna have to chase it with something. Cause ginger is good for you, but I don't like the taste of ginger. And then I love me some shortbread cookies. So I bought me some pecan or pecan, however you pronounce it, shortbread cookies. Pecan, pecan, tomato, tomato. All right. Uh, moving right along here, I might as well stay with the snack boxes. I got some pretzels because my grandson absolutely loves pretzels. These were like 89 cents for a bag of pretzels. Uh, I bought the Parmesan garlic and herb pita chips. These are pretty good. These are twice baked. I like to eat this with, um, where is it? my crab dip and then also i have in the fridge some spinach artichoke artichoke dip i think i still got some do i still have some gordy or did you eat it all okay and i can eat that with this all right and because it is allergy season and if we don't take a pill up in this house everybody is sneezing including my grandson. So I bought three boxes of Kleenexes. I don't know where the other box is right now. And also, because I like this just to snack on sometimes when I'm at my desk, sunflower on kernels, roasted. I got the unsalted. I will sit there and just munch on this like it's just a, a whole snack. There is no salt in this. If you're looking for something, one gram of sugar, 190 calories, and also, I like to put this in my salads. Yeah, y'all. All right. Let's see. We'll break down the boxes tomorrow. Okay. Um, so here's the other box that I mentioned. Uh, the Kleenex. And some eggs. And I got some more detergent. I love the way Gain smells. I wasn't sure if I needed fabric softener, so I didn't get it. Some paper towel. And as a matter of fact, I need to put a roll on my paper towel spindle right now. Bishop, what you doing in there eating at, at nine something at night? So, y'all, me and my husband have been waiting and waiting to watch the new series uh, Without Remorse with my boy Michael B. Jordan. It premiered today. My son called my husband, uh, my oldest son, Kenny, and told my husband that it was good. We done missed it. We kept saying, we're going to watch it, we're going to watch it, we're going to watch it. And I remember what day it was coming on. 
because today is my grandmother's 96th birthday. And grandma, even though I know you don't watch this, <laughs> but I already uh, called you yesterday. I want to wish you a very, very happy 96th birthday. I love you, Grandma. And I can't wait till I can get a chance to come up to New York and come and see you. I love you, love you, love you. All right, so. Next up is the meats and stuff. Up here. Yeah, all this is going to have to go in that freezer in the garage because there is no room for it in that refrigerator here. Okay, I got two bags of the large uh, shrimp that's peeled in the vein. Uh, it has the tail on it. For some reason, I don't know why I like the tail on it. Um, if my son is worth looking at this video, really all of my sons. <laughs> Uh, they're going to be like, why are you eating that? I get a massive headache whenever I eat shrimp. <laughs> but I cannot stop. I will take a break and I, it always calls me back. Um, so yeah, but I got some goodie powders. <laughs> um, so also wild caught pink salmon. Uh, I bought two bags of that. Fat. This I'm trying for the first time the Chipotle salmon burgers, but they were like three dollars and some change for four, and I thought that's worth a try. Okay. Um. Oh no, actually, y'all, I did not get two bags of it. I was gonna get two bags of the salmon, and then instead I put one back, and I. Decided to get some flounder because I do like flounder. I like to make flounder tacos and stuff like that. So I bought a bag of flounder and I bought the Chipotle corn blend steam with honey butter sauce so I can put that in my tacos. And then I bought a bag of these teriyaki stir fry vegetables. What else I got in here? And for my teriyaki stir fry vegetables, y'all, I bought some chicken breast tenders. They were like $5.02 for this big old pack. And I'm going to make that with that. And then I got some drumsticks here. And I usually do curry with the drumsticks because I don't like drumsticks any other kind of way <laughs> except for like that maybe bake every now and then but I do them curry so I'll probably do some curry chicken with that here is my ground turkey here and this was like five dollars for that and we're coming to the end of the road here I got a pack of chicken wings if I'm not sure I think I already got a bag of chicken wings in there but my husband made some wings in the air fry the other night, so I might be mistaken. But I got a small pack of wings here for $6.82. And I want to try this just because it sounds like it's good. So this is just heat and serve. It says it heats uh, in three minutes. Um, this is Hawaiian style chicken. Grilled boneless skinless chicken thigh meat. And teriyaki sauce with pineapples. Don't that sound good? So this was like four dollars and some change, almost five dollars. So I bought that. And then because I haven't had this in a while, and I do like this, I like to take it for lunch. Um, broccoli stuffed chicken, um, hand stuffed with broccoli and cheddar a gratin. So yeah. And you know, I had, I had to give my baby something. So I got him and Bear some doggy treats because I didn't see his pepperoni. I think that's only at Walmart. And for him and Bear's, even my husband said he already had some. 
So, but oh well, they won't go to waste. Um, now this stuff has to be put away as well. My husband bought some snacks yesterday. But I said, hi babe, I'm trying to eat some healthy snacks. So he bought some Jello. We like Jello. My grandson likes Jello. I don't like this crap. I don't know why he bought this. This cheese, wow. This fake cheese. I don't know who he bought that for. It must have been him. Potato chips he bought, which he doesn't know, but I had already made up in my mind that I was cutting back on them chips. Um, that's rolling all out the thing. And some cinnamon brown Velveeta breakfast uh, cookies. These cookies are so good. I like to eat these cookies with some tea. And that's a nice little snack. Sometimes I, that'll be my breakfast. I'll have this, some tea. And I didn't even know he knew I liked these. Um, but I'll buy this and some tea. I drink some hot tea and maybe a bowl of oatmeal. And I'm good to lunch. I just want to know why I'm so heavy. <laughs> no, I do know. The medicine. Oh, but I am dying to try this. I took one to work and put it in the refrigerator. And I completely forgot all about it. So it'll be there on Monday. So my husband knows that I am a sucker for root beer soda and Fanta pineapple soda. As a teenager, I used to always go get A&W root beer or Fanta. A&W, I feel like people feel about their Pepsi, okay? Well, and my pineapple soda can only be Fanta. They have a Fanta Jello. <laughs> So my husband said, you probably like this. So I hope it tastes good. I don't know what it tastes like. I would pop up it, uh, it now, but I don't want to waste it. But I will give you the review on that later. And my husband is addicted to these. So he bought these last night. Uh, and actually, I like these because they have the... the fruit juice burst filled in there and some chips like I told you I'm trying to hot with these chips but y'all keep me on your prayers when it comes to the chips alright so that's it y'all I will come back on a later date with another bloody vlog but as always remember like subscribe share Comment if you want, but definitely, definitely keep it unscripted, keep it unfiltered, because that's the way life's supposed to be. I love you guys to the moon and back. Peace.